There is definitely one thing that is not the sexiest part of the data analyst role, and that is data cleaning. I've seen it in pretty much all job interviews that I've been part of, and now that I've been a data analytics lead for over seven years, I can definitely tell you that is a super, super important part of my job. And this is why it is a skill that can really differentiate among other candidates. And so if you're interested to know more, in this video series, I'll show you how I do data cleaning using SQL. So in case I have the same customer name, email and product name, I consider that to be a duplicated order. And basically I want to identify those and only keep the first item of those that are duplicated and remove the other ones. So that's kind of the logic that I want to use for, in this case, to clean the data. And so the way to do this is I'm going to do a comma here and then in the other line, I need to basically uh, use this window can uh, function called row number, this one here. Whenever I use a window function, we need to add the over. So that's uh, something that we need to add uh, in here. And then in parentheses, follow me here because I need to basically group our data set based on the columns that I just mentioned. So I'm going to do a partition by, and then in here, I we said that we care about the email. That is not the same. So in this case, I just want to standardize the emails. So I use lower email. I also want to check the product name. So Again, I standardize the product name using lower because as we see, there is an Apple Watch this way and also uh, or lowercase. And I think in this case, actually, I'm not going to use the customer name. I think for now, I'm fine by using only email and product name to check duplicates. So that's what, I, that's what I'm going to do with this partition. And I also want to order this uh, partition by the order ID. So that's exactly what I'm doing with this uh, function here. And I'm going to call this uh, new row that I created with the, uh, the window function. I'm going to call it RN, which stands for uh, row number. So let me remove actually this one here. Let me try to see if this is working for now. Okay, I've added an extra column comma here. So let me remove that and let's see if this is working as expected. So basically what you see here is this new column that I created with this window function, which is called row number. The result of my window function is that he returns me one and then the second is basically telling me, okay, there is a duplicated here. Based on my condition, which are email and product name, we found a duplicated, which indicated with uh, this number two. If you like this and you're interested to watch the whole video, make sure to check the video description and now follow me for more content.